everybody, it's Norm from Tested. I'm here at Bricks by the Bay 2018, and one of the first things we look at is a sculpture made by Jack here. Jack, you took Lego's Saturn V rocket and oh, made yeah. a very scaled up version. <laughs> Tell me about your build. Yes, this is a minifigure scale version of the Saturn V moon rocket, the Apollo rocket that they used back in the 60s and early 70s to go to the moon. This one was based slightly off of the set, but it was a much larger scaled version, and it actually is about 10 feet tall. And that was definitely a challenge in many ways because I'm not super tall sets. <laughs> <laughs> We're pretty common techniques, but just really beefed up and tried to make it as sturdy as it could possibly be. The rocket itself is in multiple stages, like the real rocket. We have the first stage here at the bottom, stage one. Then there's a skirt here that's between the first and second stage. We have the second stage that's right here. Then the third stage goes all the way up to about there. The lunar module would be held in that cowling right there. And then at the very top, we have the command and service module with the launch escape tower. A lot of the rocket is held together by gravity. It just sits on top of each other. It does have five engines, just like on the real thing. This thing was scaled correctly, so the base is three feet wide by four feet. Well, on my YouTube channel, Big Planes, I built each stage individually. So I started with the first stage down here, mm -hmm. and then I started moving up. I did, did the second stage, and I started to switch things up up here a little bit, made improvements. Then did the third stage. I'm also really impressed that it looks like you don't have any LEGO Technic here. It's all just standard LEGO system. Yeah, bricks. it uses the standard LEGO system bricks. I sometimes use Technic on my larger planes, but this one, if you know how the physics work about how it is able to support weight, and this one is mostly just stacked off each other. It uses a honeycomb pattern in the center of this to get uh. a, uh, uh, a circle. I believe there's 16 of those brick hinges inside the center of this, and mm. It spars out like like the rays of a sun, and it connects to each one of these at certain hinge points, and that's how you're able to get the round the the round rocket look. It also was fairly inexpensive because it uses a lot of panels on the outside of it, and that was definitely something that needed to happen in order to make this cost efficient, and so it would be so heavy that you can't assemble it. Down here is the lunar module, which yes. I hold for And that's you. at minifig scale as well? Yes, it's at minifigure scale too. And it, just like the real one, has multiple stages to it where the top here can come off and separate. And it's pretty interesting. It has the, the port here where it would connect to the command module up there. Uh, lunar rover, which would have been used on Apollo 15, 16, and 17, also fits into the, the lunar module. And then you would fit the LRV, the lunar roving vehicle, in here like so like that, and then the door here shuts. And that's how they're actually able to transport cars to the moon. So you spent about seven months building this. Is this the biggest thing you've built in LEGO? Uh, it's the tallest thing I've built in LEGO. The largest one is actually a 747, I own a Pan Am version. Oh, it I've is, seen that, yeah. With, yeah. It opens up, you have all the seats. It's For gorgeous. Sure. You not only are clearly so technically minded <laughs> about how these things come together, but have a real love and appreciation for the history of NASA and space travel. Yeah, it's really I awesome. I really think the Apollo era was a time where it just showed how humanity can do something if there's competition and a reason to do it, and that we should probably go explore Mars and go back to the moon and all sorts of stuff. But this is just sort of a homage to back in the time when they just did it. They just wanted to go to the moon. We need to get to the moon before the end of the decade. And they did it. Jack, you are a huge, huge inspiration. <laughs> Thank you so much for sharing with us your story of how you built this. And it's just a great pleasure to meet you. Yeah, you too. It's a pleasure to talk to you.